Hi friends and welcome back for another story. I hope you guys had a fantastic three-day weekend because I sure did. Are you guys ready for our story today? Because I sure am. I really missed not reading to you guys yesterday. All right, let's get nice and comfy for our story. Today's story that I'm going to be reading is The Surprise Party by Pat Hutchins. You ready? Here we go. I'm having a party tomorrow, whispered Rabbit. It's a surprise. Rabbit is hoeing the parsley tomorrow, whispered Owl. It's a surprise. Rabbit is going to see tomorrow, whispered Squirrel. It's a surprise. Rabbit is climbing a tree tomorrow, whispered Duck. It's a surprise. Rabbit is riding a flea tomorrow, whispered Mouse. It's a surprise. Rabbit is raiding poultry tomorrow, whispered Fox. It's a surprise. Reading poetry, said Frog to himself. His own? I suppose. How dull. The next day, Rabbit went to see Frog. Come with me, Frog, he said. I have a surprise for you. Thank you, said Frog. I know your poetry. It puts me to sleep. And he hopped away. So, Rabbit went to see Fox. Come with me, Fox, he said. I have a surprise for you. No, thank you, said Fox. I don't want you raiding the poultry. I'll get blamed. And he ran off. So, Rabbit went to see Mouse. Come with me, Mouse, he said. I have a surprise for you. No, thank you, said Mouse. A rabbit riding a flea? Even I am too big for that. And Mouse scampered off. So, Rabbit went to see Duck. Come with me, Duck, he said. I have a surprise for you. No, thank you, said Duck. Squirrel told me you were climbing a tree. Really, you're too old for that sort of thing. And Duck waddled off. So, Rabbit went to see Squirrel. Come with me, Squirrel, he said. I have a surprise for you. No, thank you, said Squirrel. I know you're going to see, but goodbyes make me sad. And Squirrel ran up the tree. So Rabbit went to see Owl. Owl, he said, I don't know what you think I'm doing, but I'm having a party. And it was a nice party. And such a surprise! Friends, you see how easily we can change a message from someone. But in the end, they had a really, really nice party. So friends, I hope you guys have been practicing telling the time. Today, I want you guys to try and tell the time throughout the day with mom or dad or your favorite grown-up. And tomorrow, we're going to see how we do with telling the time. Because this month we have been looking and learning how we should tell time. I hope you have a great day today, friends, and I'm really excited to see you tomorrow to learn how to tell the time. Bye, friends.